Another read switch video here. In the previous read switch video, we had the LED strip hooked up directly through the read switch to the power supply. That works in most cases, uh, and when you only have a few LEDs, I have only got a couple right here, so we could easily do that. But some commenters said it was blowing out the read switch. And that'll happen if you have a long string of LEDs or uh, some other high current load. These are not meant to take a lot of current. They don't even have a rating. You can usually get away with a few LEDs. For example, I can run 13 feet of this uh, inside my safe, but the door is only open for a couple minutes at a time. And during that time, my read switch on that setup will get warm, but it's, it's never blown. So if you're using something with high current load, this is the way to do it. And we're doing that with this relay. So let's, let's see how it works. So it works like normal. If you remove your magnet from your read switch, LED comes on. Close, close the magnet, LED goes off, just like in the last video. The difference is you can hear that click. This relay is clicking the high current load off and on. There's minimal going through here. So let's see how we wire this up. So coming from the power supply, we have our positive going to this screw terminal, which is labeled a DC plus. And then from there, we jump it over to our LED strip. And then the negative of the LED strip comes over here to the other side of the relay. And this is labeled common, C-O-M. Now, this terminal labeled normally open on the relay goes back around to the middle of the terminal back here, which is DC minus. And then the DC minus is connected to the negative on your power supply. We have one more wire coming off of our uh, DC minus pin here. And that one is this black one, and it goes over to the COM, the COM on your read switch. And then the NO, the normally open on the read switch, goes to the N or the signal on your relay. Off, I'm sorry, on, off. Now, if you want it to work in the opposite direction, it's very simple. Simply move this green wire here from normally open to normally closed, and this setup will work in the opposite. That means when the door is uh, closed, for example, the light would be on now, and then you open the door, the light would go off. I don't have it wired that way in this example. Now, let's look at some of the current measurements to just, just make sure there's not much power running through this. Now we've got the multimeter hooked up. To hook it up, all we did is remove the uh, the black wire from the COM terminal on the read switch, hooked it up to the probe on the multimeter, runs to the multimeter, back out the red, and then the red is hooked up to the COM port. So we just intercepted that little connection right there. So I've got the meter set in DC milliamps, and we switch it on, uses 1.25 milliamps, which is very, very low. That's very low current, and I've left this on for a while, and you can feel this, it does not get warm. So keep that in mind, 1.25 milliamps, which is running through the read switch. Now we've got the multimeter hooked up, and we intercepted the wire going to the LEDs to measure the power there. So we undid this black wire from the comm coming out of the relay, stuck our multimeter probe in there, runs through the meter, back out the red, and we hooked up that black wire to the red. So let's see how much current this draws. 133 milliamps, 135. It's not very much. Remember what our previous one was? It was, for going through the read switch, it was 1.25. This is 130 something, 137. So you can see that all the current is running through the LED strip, which is what we want, and through the relay, which is rated for this. This goes up to 10 amps, and we're not even at one amp yet, and only 1.25 milliamps. 
So if you have a project that calls for a high current load, such as a long list, a long line of LEDs or some other high current draw, this is the way to do it. This type of relay on this board, you can run high current loads without burning out your reed switch. I have a link in the description below to this particular uh, relay. And I also have a link in the relay below, uh, in the description below to a diagram which shows how to wire this up. Thanks for watching.